Hi friends, my name is Shaz and this is Shazness Wellness. If you are new to my channel, I am all about hormone health and gut health. So I have a past in candida and leaky gut and I battle with PCOS, which is like polycystic ovarian syndrome. This video is going to be a follow up on the video I posted last week, which was me waxing my face and breaking out terribly. At first, I was super down and I was so upset that it happened. Like acne is a really soft topic for me, so it really shut down my self-esteem, but I tried to put a switch on it and flip my emotions and use it as a time to use all my tricks and tips to how to clear acne, and my goal was to bring it down in a week or two weeks max. So I'm really happy to say that I've honestly cleared most of that breakout in just under a week. So I'll post a picture right here um, from last Monday to today, which is also Monday. So one week time, I completely brought down the breakout. So just so you can see up close, my skin is doing so much better. I do have breakouts here. They're hormonal breakouts, just feminine problems. Um, but my cheeks are doing so much better. And I just wanna thank you all for your beautiful comments. Honestly, I read every single one and you have no idea how much they mean to me. Um, and a few of you mentioned folliculitis, which really caught my interest because I assumed acne right away because of the whiteheads. But when I did more research, um, I think indeed it was folliculitis. It was hair follicles that definitely got infected and spread because I was wearing makeup and my brushes were dirty and I just wasn't practicing the best hygiene after waxing my face. And the way it was, and it was itchy. And I think that was a really big determination for me to distinguish folliculitis over acne. Because my face was continuously being itchy, I was like, wow, I really think this is folliculitis. So I took my research on folliculitis. I also used what I know about how to clear acne and it went full force this week. So I want to share the tips with you of how I cleared my acne and my breakout or folliculitis this week. I do wanna add a really big note here, guys. If you have long-term acne and continuous breakouts and you don't know where they're coming from and you're getting very, very frustrated, I highly recommend you watch my How to Heal Your Acne by Healing Your Gut and my other acne videos. Those are more for long-term acne cures. This one is how I cured my breakout in a week. And remember, I do believe it was folliculitis, which is a little bit different than acne. The acne was not coming from within. The acne was strictly because I waxed my face, opened the hair follicles, they got infected and it spread. And that is what that breakout was. It was more an external breakout. So I just want you to understand the difference. So if you do have acne, you won't be able to clear acne in a week, okay? I just, and I'm sorry if that's harsh, it's just I know that true acne and true healing comes from within. Either way, if you have acne and it's long-term, these tips will still help. I just, I just want to let you know, I did want to give you false hope for you to believe that you can clear your acne in a week. It's just the harsh truth. If you have true, true acne, it's just gonna take a lot longer than that, okay? That's really all I want to say. I'm sorry if that was a lot. I'm just passionate about it because I've seen other YouTube videos like how I cleared my acne in a day and in a week and it's, and it's impossible, okay? <sighs> but this is how I cleared my face in a week. It really comes down to five categories, rest, ice, internal treatments, external treatments, and going ham on cleaning stuff. Well, I don't know if that's category it is, but I'll explain it. So in terms of rest, it really means do not overdo it. Do not try to cure and treat everything and do everything at once. My biggest problem is that I wanna do all the face masks in the world. I wanna just like, extra eat clean and go crazy and overthink about my skin, but that is the worst thing you can do. So rest really means rest your mind, okay? Just take everything one day at a time. Trust that you can heal, breathe, 
positive affirmations like my body can heal, my skin loves to be clear. Every time you look in a mirror, don't look specifically at your breakouts, just look at yourself as a whole and say, I love you, you're gonna get through this. These are the tips that work for me. Also, going back to not overdoing it. So in the first two days, I did five different, different face masks. It's not gonna help. Your skin just needs to breathe, it needs to relax. Go for the substances that you know work on your skin, okay? I was experimenting with things like coconut yogurt and cocoa powder and coffee, and I know those don't really work on my skin. I know what works, and I should have just stuck to those and been patient. So that's what rest is really all about. Mind, taking it easy, don't overdo it. So ice. Ice is really helpful because when you have a really fresh breakout, it's usually hot and inflamed and that's what ice is for. So I literally spent so many days and nights just icing my face right before bed or right before work just to calm it down a little bit, just to bring down the heat and the inflammation. That one's pretty simple and straightforward. If you are icing, just make sure you cover it with a paper towel for hygiene purposes so you're not spreading the bacteria on your face and make sure you just change the paper towel every time you use it. Internal treatments. So this is extremely helpful for people who have long-term acne, which is what I was talking about. But again, anything on the skin, any inflammation, you have to bring down the inflammation inside your body as well. Acne and my acne or my breakout or folliculitis was very fungal and bacterial. So I needed a lot of antifungals, antibacterials, and anti-inflammatories. So as you guys know, and if you're new, Sugar is the biggest enemy for acne. I cut out all, I mean, I'm already sugar free, but what I did is I was eating about like three servings of food a day. I just cut it down to about two or one. I really cut down the amount of carbs I ate and really focused on greens and healing herbs like garlic and turmeric and bone broth and collagen and really just used what I know about gut healing and acne healing from within. I've become really big on whole food supplements instead of just your regular multivitamins. And I've been taking something called Juice Plus, which I just adore. So Juice Plus is just fruits and vegetables in a cap. I take these every single day and I don't miss a day. Um, but because I had this really bad breakout, I doubled these two specifically. So this is a garden blend. Okay, so the reason why I doubled this one is because it has things like broccoli and garlic. Garlic is really antifungal, antibacterial. If you had candida or no candida, garlic is used a lot in candida treatments. Parsley, spirulina, like all things that are gonna be really helpful for curing acne within. So I double these every day. And then I also doubled this one, which is the antioxidant blend or the vineyard blend. This is where you'll get the body to heal from within because it's full of vitamin C and vitamin E and those antioxidants, those things to help calm down your breakout. So raspberry, artichoke, bilberry, pomegranate, cocoa, which is really, really awesome at a uh, strong antioxidant, blueberry, etc. So I doubled these um, and then I had a really strict, clean diet, no gluten, no dairy, no sugar, low carbs, not, not no carbs, just lower carbs to keep my insulin levels down to avoid extra hormonal breakouts on top of the breakout that I already had and just lots of water you know keeping it clean keeping it a plus all right so external treatments this is your topical treatments so I kept it really simple and I only used three things tea tree oil aloe vera and apple cider vinegar and so with aloe vera I actually bought the plant I simply just cut the side edges, I split it in half, and then I just applied it to my face gently and just let it rest for about 10 to 20 minutes and then gently washed it off. So that was like the cooling, the soothing and moisturizing part. You know, aloe is really great for all skin types and all skin type of breakout. So aloe was definitely the go-to thing. And then it came to like a toner, and that is where I used apple. 
apple cider vinegar. Vinegar is used to clean the household, right? So um, really, really helpful for the bacterial folliculitis infection. So all I did was take organic raw apple cider vinegar. I poured it in some water to dilute it because apple cider vinegar is very strong. You should never put it directly on your skin. I took a cotton pad, dabbed it in the solution, and just rubbed it gently all over my face. Let it dry for a little bit, and then I went to my moisturization part. <laughs> so after I did the apple cider vinegar toner, I would mix my moisturizer with only one little drop of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is super potent and it is so strong. I highly suggest never trying to put tea tree oil directly on your skin. When I tried doing that, I had like huge burn spots for, so I had like the pimple and then burn spots around it. It was not a winning situation. So the solution that I came up with was just taking my moisturizer and adding a little bit of a drop, mixing it together, and then just spreading it all over my face. I only use tea tree oil at nighttime. I find in the daytime, it was a little bit irritant if I sweat a little bit and would cause a lot more itching. So I just used tea tree oil in the night. Those were my top three substances, all antibacterial, antifungal, really good at balancing the skin, moisturizing the skin and healing the skin. And I just practiced that routine, aloe, apple cider vinegar and tea tree. And just to clarify, I only did that at nighttime. I didn't overdo it in the morning. The morning, I simply just washed my face with the cleanser that I have. I just did my rose water toner, which I practice every day, and then my um, face moisturizer in the morning. And the last thing that I did was going ham on cleaning. And it really came down to three things. One, my makeup brushes, they were disgusting. I hadn't washed them in like four months. I'm ashamed to say that because I am someone who's already acne prone, but it's just, I don't wear makeup very often. I wear makeup maybe like once a month, so I just don't think to wash them. So I washed them. I just, ugh, they were disgusting. The second thing that I did was change my pillowcases. So, Again, this is something I used to practice all the time when I had acne, but because I had clear skin for a few years now, I just kind of like let go of my practices and my anal like thinking with acne and I just kind of fell off a little bit. So I went back to my practices, I changed my pillowcase and um, especially because folliculitis is kind of like an infectious bacterial and thing, ugh. Um, yeah, I changed my pillowcase. And then the last thing that I did was uh, a new towel and a towel strictly for my face only. Again, something I used to practice, but I stopped doing it when I had clear skin. Um, so I have a body towel that I use and I ended up just using it for my face when I got out of the shower. And I just made a towel strictly for my face just to keep those separated, to keep the bacteria, you know, away from each other and to just prevent any other spreading. But the last little tip that I really want to share that was awesome that I did, I found a spray bottle that was completely empty. It was magnesium spray, but it was done. So what I did was I cleaned out the bottle and then I just added some water, some apple cider vinegar, and then a few drops of tea tree oil. And I just kind of shook it up together and I used this as like a extra boost for my hygiene. So what I did was I sprayed my makeup brushes with this spray to, again, just to avoid any bacterial buildup in the brushes. And then every night, what really helped was that I sprayed my pillow with this. So I was pretty much spraying my pillow with the apple cider vinegar and the tea tree. It was very diluted and not so strong so that I went to sleep with like a vinegar smelling pillow, but it was so helpful. So I just sprayed that at night on my pillow and then I went to sleep and it just really helped make sure that bacteria was not spreading anywhere else and was dying in my sleep. All right, so that's pretty much everything I did this week to keep my breakouts under control and to calm them down as fast as I could. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. It Again, it was a follow-up on what happened last week. I'm gonna continue to practice these things for the next week just to make sure it completely goes down and 
keep a positive attitude. I just want to show you guys that even if things go really downhill really fast, you can pick them up again. And I tried doing that this week and I just wanted to show you that. I really hope some of these tips help you in your future or maybe right now if it's something you're suffering. Um, it is something you can practice almost every day if that's something you want to do. These are all safe and natural practices. So if you liked this video, just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Uh, I make videos every Wednesday, so I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel. And I just want to send so much love and healing vibes your way. Thank you so much for watching. XOXO, Shazness Wellness. Bye, friends.